Hello and welcome to a new MA Tips video. One of the basic concepts in the Grand MA3 is that we work with a tree structure literally everywhere. Let's have a look where this can help us. The first impression of the new tree structure in the Grand MA3 software we get when we open the patch. So let's have a look at our patch and we can see that our patch can be organized in a tree structure now. In my existing patch I can see some white arrows that show me that I can unfold those objects over here and I can see that I have some fixtures patched and arranged in that tree structure. First of all, this gives me the advantage that I can structure my patch so I can create different folders and patch my fixtures directly in this folder to have a little bit more overview within my patch. The second thing is that I can define a new fixture type which is called group fixture. As you can see, this group fixture is in the tree structure, the parent of my QWO spots. It has an own fixture ID, but it has no DMX address. The advantage of the group fixture is that I can control all of my fixtures below, so within that group fixture, with one fixture ID. Let's go back to our fixture sheet to see how this works. In the fixture sheet, we can find the same tree structure as in our patch. So I can unfold my spots here again, and you can see my group fixture with the fixture ID number one for my spots. Now I can select this group fixture and adjust the dimmer value, for example. And you can see that I am controlling all of my fixtures below within that tree structure. We call this top-down principle because our group fixture sends the dimmer value down to the children within its tree structure. Let's have a look at some fixtures with subfixtures, so the alien pigs, for example, where this principle helps us even more. So remember one of the first MA tips videos where we said we can use the up and down keys to navigate in the different levels of subfixtures. So I press down and down to open the tree structure for my alien pigs fixtures. What we can see now is if I select my main fixtures of the alien pigs and I adjust the color a little bit, we can see again the top down principle which is used. As you might know, the color is not living in the main fixture and also not in the first level of sub fixtures, but the color is living in the single pixels. And even if we have selected the main fixture on top of the tree structure, the top-down principle takes care that the color in the single pixels is adjusted. This tree structure helps us later on in many different things like programming sequences or adjusting fixture types in general. So stay tuned, watch the next MA Tips videos and see you soon.